What's up guys, it's Jeremy Shardo. In preparation for tonight's game five of the NBA Finals, I decided to do a breakdown of Jimmy Butler's finishing. Now Jimmy Butler is one of the best finishers in the NBA. Of course he's long, he's athletic, and he's strong, but he does a very good job of playing off two feet, creating contact, and using good touch around the rim. Just like my other videos, I'll show you how to do the move, and then I'll show you NBA clips of Jimmy Butler performing these moves in the game. Now the first finish is off of two feet. Now playing off of two feet has several advantages. When you play off two feet, if you don't have your shot initially, you can pump fake, you can pivot, look for a different angle, or you could pass out to a teammate. When you play off one, once you leave the ground, you're forced to either finish at the rim or maybe try to throw a crazy pass if you get stuck. Now what Jimmy does a great job of is he always looks and, and searches for contact. So when he goes off two feet, he gets up quick and he searches for contact. A lot of players let the defense come to them. Okay, he's always aggressive and he initiates contact, which throws the defense off balance and allows him to get a shot off. Okay, another thing he does is he gets his elbows up. So when he jumps, he gets his elbows up and away from his body. And what that does is it protects his space and he's able to absorb contact with his body and then finish. All right, a lot of young players will jump create contact with their arms close to their body that allows the defense to get into them and then they can't get that shot off or they'll get, jump into the defense and then they won't have enough on it because they can't get their arms through the defender okay so the biggest key is jump off the two get off the ground quick get your elbows up above the defense take the contact search for contact and then look to finish okay, now we're going to take a look at jimmy butler playing off of two feet as you can see here, he drives down the lane against the big, goes off of two feet and scores. Now, if you notice, he gets his elbows up above the defender and absorbs that contact with his shoulder and his hip and then is able to score with that outside hand. Again, playing off of two feet gives you the advantage to get up quickly over the defense and they can't time your shot block. Here, you're going to notice that he uses his body to get into the defender to knock him off balance and is able to go off two feet and finish with that outside hand. And always under control, plays off two feet, and gets off the ground quick. Another advantage of playing off of two feet is your ability to pump fake. So as you drive, the defense is still moving and goes for the shot block, and you're able to go up and score around them. Another good advantage playing off of two feet is your ability to pivot. Sometimes when you play off of one, once you leave the ground, you're out of options. If you play off of two feet, you always have the ability to pivot, shot fake, and throw it out to a teammate. Again, this last clip, again, under control, gets in the lane, uses his body to spin, create space, go off two feet strong for the finish. Okay, the second finish we're gonna talk about is the stride step. Now, a stride step is simply a way to decelerate your body. So a lot of players will pick up the basketball and then take their one, two, and finish toward the rim. All right, what Jimmy does, okay, so as he's driving, he's creating contact, he takes his one, two, now when he jumps off his left foot, instead of going towards the rim, okay, he's gonna jump straight up in a vertical plane. So he's driving it, he decelerates, stops, jumps straight up, and as he's going up, the defense continues to slide by, and he, he's either got a layup at the rim or a little floater over the defense. Now we're gonna take a look at Jimmy Butler using the stride step. So a stride step is simply a way to decelerate your body to score. Okay, as you can see, he goes up here and gets to the rim. Okay, we'll watch the replay. Okay, most players would take one more step, reach out and finish, and probably get that shot blocked. But Jimmy jumps vertical off that left foot. The defense continues to slide by, and he's able to finish in the front of the rim. Again, in these clips, you're going to see Jimmy makes a great job of creating contact on the drive. He's very physical when he drives, and that helps knock the defense off balance a little bit and gives him just a little bit more space to finish. But as you can see, he's going full speed and he's able to slow himself down and jump vertical as the defense continues to slide and he's able to shoot over them at the rim. All right, the third finish is jumping off the same foot. So typically when players make contact, they'll make contact with their inside foot. So I'm driving, I'll step on my inside foot, I'll bump the defender, pick up my basketball and take my one, two, and finish at the rim. Okay, Jimmy will bump the defender with his inside foot. Okay, now instead of taking two steps, he's only gonna take one step, jump off that right foot, and finish with his right hand on the right side. Okay, that throws off the timing of the defense. And again, the weak side shot blocker doesn't have a chance to block that shot off the glass. So again, he's driving, he makes contact with that inside foot, 
jumps off the same foot, same hand finish, and gets that ball up on the rim quick. Now we're gonna look at Jimmy shooting off the same foot, same hand. So again, he's driving to the rim, he creates contact, and he goes up and finishes. So if we look at it again, again, most players would take from here two more steps and go and finish, but Jimmy's gonna take one more step with his right foot, go up and finish with his right hand, and throw that defense off. Again, there's another quick finish. Create contact and jump off the same foot. Create contact, get off the floor quick, and get the ball on the backboard. Again, it's all about being deceptive and timing and disrupting the timing of that weak side shot blocker. Again, same thing going left here. There's the bump, jumps off his left foot this time and uses his left hand to finish. All right, the last finish is a floater. Now, whether he's going off the two feet, a stride step, or maybe the same foot, same hand, he's got great touch from five to seven feet with either hand. And no matter how good of a player you are, even if you're Jimmy Butler, you're not always gonna be able to get to the rim and finish over great length and athleticism. So you have to be able to finish in this five to seven foot range when you can't quite get to the rim and have a floater that you can shoot off the glass or straight in the hoop. But the last finish we're gonna look at is a floater. So whether he's playing off of two feet, maybe a stride step or he's getting into you, you have to have the ability to shoot that five to seven foot little floater shot around the rim. No matter how good you are, you're not gonna be always able to get to the rim. And Jimmy Butler's no different. He's got great touch with his right and left hand around that rim, and he's able to finish in a variety of different ways. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you like what you saw, please give me a like as it will help my channel grow. Leave me a comment if you'd like to see something else in the future. If you haven't hit subscribe, make sure you hit that button. And as always, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.